I was one of those clowns that stayed up until 3 a.m. to order stuff from the Diane von Furstenberg Target Collection. So let's do an unboxing. Welcome to the Sunshine Fashion Love Channel. I'm Jen. And yes, I ordered some accessories from a collaboration between noted fashion designer Diane von Furstenberg, very, very famous for her wrap dress. And she did a collaboration for Target, and it's a more affordable line. So I was up. I was like, all right, I got to check this collection out. I kind of knew a lot of this stuff would probably sell out fast. So I kind of bookmarked and opened up tabs for all the items I was interested in. Now, the clothing went really quick. The women's clothing, they have women's clothing, they had children's clothing, some home accessories. I'm actually still somewhat interested in the bedding set, but I don't know, I didn't go for it. And when I was looking at the women's clothing items, a lot of it well, either wasn't my style, and then a lot of the fabrics, I noticed, well, it's a very affordable line, like most of the clothes were like 40 to $55. I noticed the fabrics were fairly low quality, and I was worried about those things wearing. I've seen a lot of them hitting the resale market already, but I just didn't really like the clothing, and I thought the the fabrics they chose were just not good, and I don't think they're going to wear very well. So I decided to go for a lot of the accessories, so that's what we will be opening. And all of this stuff was actually, like, ridiculously affordable, which was nice. This is the most affordable item, and this was only $5. I was like, okay. It's a lip coin purse, and it came in a couple different colors. It came in red, this pink color, dark pink, and then it came in gold. So I'm more of a pink gal myself, so that's what I decided to try out here. Everything came wrapped pretty nicely, and I got everything in a, about like three days or something. So this is the lip coin purse here. And obviously this is faux leather. This is not real leather. For $5, I wasn't expecting real leather. So this is the coin purse, and it's made out of at least, okay, the lining is made out of at least 90% recycled polyester. I just thought this was cute. It's got a little clasp pierce. So you could hook it to a bag. You could use it as a bag charm, which is what I plan to do. For five bucks, I really wasn't expecting a metal zipper. I was expecting a nylon zipper. Came stuffed here. So it's faux leather on the outside. Oh, it's got a little DVF label on the inside. Okay, DVF Target, and it's got a black polyester lining in it. And it could fit a I, could, I wonder if I could put my AirPods in here. I, I might be able to fit them in here. So you could put coins in here. You could probably put like, like a lippy in there, something like that. But I thought this was cute for $5. I was willing to give it a shot. So that is the coin purse here. All right, these items are a lot bigger than I was expecting. I thought these were going to be smaller somehow. And then I also got one bag and all of these were actually $20 each. So I ended up spending about, I think my order was like $68 and I got free shipping. This is the camera bag and this came in a few different colors. I was really more interested in the bags and accessories than the clothing. While yes, this is also polyester fabric, I find this is a more appropriate material for accessories like this. So this is a camera bag and for 20 bucks, I was like, I'll, I'll give this a shot. It's got a nice label on here. Yeah, recycled polyester. But again, I'm more okay with polyester for stuff like this than clothing. Polyester is a very inexpensive fabric. And I was a little bit disappointed to see the clothing made of such, you know, not great materials in my opinion. So, all right, this is the camera bag. This is actually pretty nice. It's a nice size. It's got a front zip pocket here with a black interior. It has an adjustable web strap. It's not, is it removable? Okay, technically it looks like it might be removable. Okay, yeah, you technically can remove this, but it's not like you could really attach another strap. Gold hardware, and the hardware actually is metal, which is surprising. And it's got this webbing on it that says DVF on it, and it's got DVF on the strap. This is actually pretty cool though. And then it has a main compartment. This is actually a really good sized camera bag. All right, it comes stuffed here. You know, the only thing that would make it even better would be if there was like a back slip pocket. And this print is sort of a zebra print in black, greens, and blues. I've never owned a bag of this sort of color. I'm not sure if I have a lot of outfits that it would go with, 
But I suppose if I'm wearing like gray sweatpants and a t-shirt, it would go with that. I don't know. So here's the stuffing. We'll take this out. All right, it's a good size. It's got the DVF woven label on here. And then it has a an interior zip pocket. And this hardware is actually metal too, so I was kind of surprised. The actual zipper is nylon, but the zipper pull is metal. So it's got a back zip pocket. And then it has a front slip pocket on the front. So that's actually more than I was expecting. This is a really cute bag. And for $20, I was like, I'll, I'll give this a shot. It sort of has a Prada vibe to it, just in terms of the material. Sort of a matte polyester, but it feels like it's not easy to, like it's not gonna get snagged or scratched. And actually you could keep this pocket open. So if you want to slip your phone in here, you could. In fact, let me get my phone and I'll show you how it fits. This is an iPhone 13 Pro and it fits just fine into the front pocket here. So you could slip that in there. You could also put a card holder. You could put other stuff in there. The hardware is actually better quality than I was expecting for a $20 bag from Target. Really not bad at all. So that is the camera bag. I'm not gonna remove the strap right now. I might do another follow-up video showing this bag, but it is very cute. And it, I like that the strap is adjustable and I like that it's black. So this won't show like dirt. I won't have, like it's fairly carefree. It's a darker color. And I feel like I don't have to worry too much about dirt or other wear because it's a dark color. So that's nice. These are a lot bigger than I was expecting. These are travel pouches and this set was also $20. So I was like, I gotta try this. You get three pouches for 20 bucks. What world are we living in here? All right, so the largest pouch is actually bigger than the camera bag, which is, I thought like this size was gonna be the largest size, but it comes with three. I'm not gonna open these up completely right now. This is a set of travel pouches. So it comes with small, medium, and large, and it comes in these three coordinating prints. Again, quality is really nice for the price. All right, the zipper is a nylon zipper, but again, and the camera bag zipper is nylon as well, but the hardware is actually real metal. I don't think it has any pockets inside, so I'm not gonna open these up quite yet. It came really nicely packaged because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or like gift these or whatever, but this is lar like this is a pretty large pouch. You could really put a lot of stuff. I really like the small ones actually. So the little one could be a really cute like daily pouch and then the medium size is pretty good too. The large size would be like more for like if you're going on a trip and not really for everyday use but all sizes seem pretty useful. And then I also got it in the pink and black colorway as well. This one's more of a floral print, but it's like pink, orange, and black. And they had a tote bag in this pink flower print and I had it in my cart and then I took it out and then it sold out immediately. I am a little bit disappointed that I didn't buy it because I was like, I wasn't that interested in it. So I didn't want to buy anything if I wasn't seriously interested in the item just to get it, like get the FOMO stuff going on. So this is the travel pouch set. Again, this, again, really nice prints. And I'm not sure, maybe I'll gift one of these to my mom or something, but they are really cute. So it's got like a pink zebra stripes. So that's this one. The medium is this like geometric print. And then the large one is the floral print. And the inside is a, it, it's a very wipeable lining. So it's, it's all polyester. I thought they were priced well. In my opinion, I didn't think the clothing was as good of a value just because you have to launder clothing more frequently. And I just felt like the fabrics were very cheap fabrics. And even at the prices, they were charging like 40 to $50. The fabrics just didn't look great to me. Even though I liked some of the designs and some of the prints, I decided to go for these accessories because I just thought these would be more practical, I guess. And I don't wanna buy clothing if it's not gonna wear very well. And from what I could see, whenever you're shopping for clothing, you should look at the fabric makeup. If it's all polyester, that's a very cheap material. And I don't like fabrics like that Tencel or like Lyocell. I just find, or any cotton poly blend, they will pill very fast and they won't launder very well, in my opinion. That's what I've experienced. I also sew as well. And those are not fabrics I would use to make clothing, just keeping it real here. But, and then this is the coin pouch. So this actually goes really well with these pouches. They had a camera bag in the pink print, but it was in this uh, geometric print. And I wasn't, I just wasn't that drawn to it. So I thought this lip, this lip pouch for $5 is pretty cute though. So it's got a little opening here. And I just thought this was really neat. So this is my haul from the DVF for Target collection. Did you pick up anything from this one? What did you get? And did you did you miss out? Is there anything that you were really interested in? Let me know, but 
I thought this was a you know fairly affordable, budget-friendly home. And I'm excited about these items, although I really was not expecting the travel pouches to be this large. I thought it was gonna be smaller than the camera bag. So anyways, I'm Jen with the Sunshine Fashion Love channel. Check out some of my other bag and accessory videos here and I'll see you again next time.